and I hope you're all well. Um, today is a cold November afternoon and I've decided that I've sat in the house for long enough so I'm going to go out and take a few pictures. Um, I'm from Inverclyde so in Inverclyde just now we are currently in a tier 3 lockdown or tier 3 structure whatever you want to call it. Basically means that shops are still open, you can still go out for recreation purposes and if you want to go for something to eat then you can but you've got to be home by 6 o'clock. So, today I had three locations in mind, which would have probably worked about half an hour ago, um, but the conditions have slightly changed now, so I'm going to go and take them anyway, see what happens. Um, golden hour is about 5 to 3, it's about 25 past 2 just now, um, and then sunset is 5 to 4, so, and then I've got a blue hour shot I want to try and get as well, so hopefully we'll get three decent images in this video. And first place I'm going to go is head to Port Glasgow Timber Ponds, and see if there's any pictures to be had there, so better get going. <laughs> place I'm is Port Glasgow Timber Ponds uh, that you'll be able to see just behind me here. Now I thought the conditions weren't going to be very good but it turns out there's some mist and stuff on the hills. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the timber ponds as a foreground, uh, get the 70 to 200 mil out and probably hang about for 15 or 20 minutes just till golden hour to see if anything changes, maybe a wee bit of colour in the sky or something. So, And um, there's some really nice reflections as well so I reckon there's an abstract shot to be had around about here somewhere as well. Um, normally I would go into the beach, but there's no way I'm going on the other day. Um, coming down that wee slope there was bad enough, so... <laughs> um, if I go on the beach, I reckon I'll sink. So I'm going to hang about for a couple of minutes and... Wait and see if the sky changes there and see what we can get. starting to be a little bit of light. Um, I reckon another five minutes should be ideal. And the problem at this time of year is the sun sets in the southwest and not in the west. And there's a big bank of cloud here, but it is starting to light up slightly, so um, give it another five minutes because I don't want to be late for the next shot because I reckon there's another good shot to be had over the other side, so fingers crossed we'll get there. So that's the shot taken. Uh, there was a little hint of light. Strange thing is, is that all around me, um, to the back of me, to the left of me, to the right of me, there was some beautiful light. And wherever I'm pointing the camera, there's only a little bit. So <laughs> could be one of these days. Um, it's 25 past three. Sun goes down in half an hour, but obviously it sets away far to the west. So the next place I'm going to go over to is somewhere I've been quite often. Um, it always makes a nice picture. Is the Perch Rock Lighthouse in Port Glasgow. It's only a five minute drive from here, so I'm going to shoot over there and then I'll hang about waiting in the blue hour for the last shot. So, there we go.
Okay, so now I am at Perch Rock Lighthouse in Port Glasgow and there was some really nice light a second ago as soon as I pulled up and of course the second you get a camera out it fades a little bit but it is still nice and um, there's some faded kind of quiet light shall we say um, so I'm going to stand here, I've got a 6 stop filter on the camera um, it's giving about 15 seconds of exposure time just to flatten out the water and we'll see how it goes it does seem to be brightening back up a little bit so I'm going to hang around for another couple of minutes Although there is quite a lot of cloud there blocking the sun now, but it's good to get out and it's still quite a nice picture. So we'll see how it goes. see behind me uh, the lights pretty much gone now again it was looking quite good the second you get the camera out it kind of fades a bit so can't be helped I am um, but I am absolutely Baltic so I'm gonna to go to Costa get myself a coffee and then I'm gonna hang around until blue hour uh, which is only 20 minutes 25 minutes away and um, so I'll grab myself a coffee and I'm gonna head down into Greenock City Centre and the shot I'm looking for is of the James Watt statue plus the municipal buildings and some light trails with the traffic passing as well um, I've not had much chance to do a lot of light stuff or night stuff this year due to the fact the weather's been rotten and the fact that we're confined to our own local authorities at the moment. Um, so this will be a good chance to get a bit of practice in and we'll see what we can come up with. So first things first, coffee. So, got my coffee. Um, it's starting to get dark now, so I'm going to make my way down to the municipal buildings in Greenock. When I get down there, what I'm going to do is there's a statue of James Watt, um, accompanied by the Victoria Tower, which is part of the municipal buildings. And it's right in the main road, so there's a lot of traffic. And obviously, in blue hour, with there being some clouds around, um, it should make for quite a nice image and getting the light trails of the traffic passing. About 100 yards from there, there's the Bull Ring Roundabout, which is at this time of night an extremely busy roundabout. So it would be good to try and get a shot at the municipal buildings accompanied by um, all the traffic going round the roundabout as well. So as I said, I've not done a lot of night photography this year because the weather's been horrific and the fact that we've been kind of confined to our local authorities since about March. Um, but it's one of those things you've got to go on with. So um, I'm going to head down there now. Hopefully the traffic won't take too long and I'll see what I can get from there and hopefully it's decent. <laughs> trying to move away a little bit um, from the road so you can hear me. Uh, so behind me here we have James Watt and here we have Victoria Tower and as you can see the traffic's passing in between. So I've got a shutter speed, got a shutter speed of around 10 seconds and what I'm basically doing is waiting on a bus passing to be quite honest. Um, I've taken a test shot, worked out really well um, so I'm quite looking forward to this one. Um, there's a couple of big lorries passing and stuff so what I'm trying to do as you'll still be able to see James Watt, but you get the streaks, streaks of the traffic passing in between as well. So I reckon this could turn out quite well. So after this, I'm going to head to the Bull Ring Roundabout, which is just about 100 yards away, and I'll see if I can do the same thing there.
So that moose turned out really well. Um, I've taken a walk up to the Bull Ring roundabout, and the problem I've got is that the Victoria Tower is obviously side lit, which means the back of it's in darkness. So it's, it's pretty pointless for me taking the shot because it's taken that away from the main feature, which is obviously the tower. So it's been good to get back out. Um, I've really kind of fell in love with night photography again as of now. Hopefully I'll get some nice nights again over the next few weeks for me to get back out. And obviously once the restrictions are lifted, it'd be good to get it done in the city centre in Glasgow and stuff as well. So looking forward to that. So that's me, I'm going to call it quits for the video today. So if you're stuck with me this far, then thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, remember to subscribe as well. So thanks very much and see you all later.